After a long two days of travel, we finally made it to Amsterdam and to our first excursion, the Anne Frank House. Hi Royal, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you will get to enjoy highlights from the awesome Beyonce concert and a little more. Now without further ado, It is Sunday, June 18th, 9.33 a.m. Today is a big day. As you saw by the title, we are going to see Beyonce. Also, today is Tiffany's birthday as well. But first, breakfast. Breakfast was good again, but FYI, I don't know if it's a way to change the language, but all these channels are in Dutch. Just got back to the room, just came back from this boutique and bought these cute sunglasses. They're actually not really usually my style, but I wanted to, I've been trying to branch out to do something different. And depending on how my, how I wear my hair, I actually look cute, but yeah, I bought these uh, Gucci sunglasses. So first pair of Gucci sunglasses. I can dig it. This video is sponsored by Novo, a simple free business checking account for small businesses. When I became a small business owner, I was disappointed in the minimal options offered when trying to open a business checking account. Other banks would have so many hidden fees, charge up to $20 in fees. Upon approval, one traditional bank stated it would take weeks to open an account. I didn't have time for that, and I'm sure you don't either. I was beginning to become discouraged until I came across Novo, a free business checking account, yes, I said free, that easily offered features like applying and receiving an answer in minutes, send invoices via their app, receive money faster with their Novo Boost feature, transfer funds in a flash, and deposit checks just by using your phone. Now, if all those features aren't awesome enough, how about receiving a $40 deposit after opening your account? Want to learn how? Click the link in my description box below to get started. Now back to the video. What's up, y'all? We are headed to the concert. We concert ready out here. Come on, Bay fans, meet us there. now the next day we are on monday june 19th and oh my gosh beyonce her concert the dancers the band the whole environment was absolutely perfect it was definitely the concert of a lifetime i was debating on whether i should or if i wanted to spend the money because everybody knows her tickets are not cheap and they did cost a little bit less here in europe than it does in in the US, which don't really understand that, but whatever. We just made a whole experience, a week experience from it. I'm so glad I spent the money. <laughs> like, I will pay it back on the credit card over time just to go see something like that. Everybody's like, oh, I'm gonna go see her again. I don't know if I'll ever wanna do it again because it's, to me, it's like one memorable moment will last me a lifetime. And now I have video from it too. Just in case you will never ever get to see her for whatever reason or you're not that interested, but you do want to kind of see highlights. There, I entered them in for you. <laughs> All right, so today is an Amsterdam Central 
tour, boat tour that we're doing on the canal. Really excited about this. It's actually kind of a cool day. I think rain is coming in. Hopefully rain won't come in until after we're done with the canal because the boat is kind of open. And this will be the first day we're on water. Actually, I think these last two days, these full two full days that we're here, we're gonna be on water. So I'm actually excited. I like doing little boat tours, which by the way, you know what? I think I might wanna take a pill just in case, just in case. Because we, we also gotta take the bus to get there. Okay, now I bought a, a train, bus, tram ticket. The, the one ticket goes for everything, all the public transportation here but I only bought it for three days. So today, I think, well, yesterday, I think was the third day. So I think it's not gonna work for the rest of the time we're here. So I'm actually about to now go into the closed train station here to go get another one while Tiffany is getting ready. So just in case you stay in the middle of Harlem and you stay in this area, I wanna show you actually what we have close. So this is central Harlem where you can tell, actually the sign is over that way. So I'll show it to you later. But the buses stop right here, which the, the, these, all these buses either stop at Central Amsterdam, so the city of Amsterdam, or they go past it and they just, you can just bypass it somehow. But it's really, really easy. The first day was, you know, it's always a little confusing because you're trying to learn the bus system and what to do. But once, by the second day, we, we got it. Um, there's a Burger King right here. There is a Starbucks right here which there's also some other places to eat, whatever this is, back work. And there's, a, there's another Asian place inside of the little, the little center. But now, let me go into the train station to see how I can buy my ticket. Here's actually the main sign for to know that you are in the center town of Harlem. This cute little area, this big sign that's up. All right, now walking into the train station now and heading into the ticket office. I'm actually going to try the little kiosk first because I'm used to this when I go to New York. I'm going to see how this works. All right, first we need to change this to English. And we are going to do, let's see, day return. Or let's look at other products first. Let's see, day tickets. Okay, let's try day tickets. Day ticket, train, Holland travel. Mm. Oh, on page my phone. Nope, I don't know about that one. That's not gonna work because it looks like it's not like a all the time kind of ticket. So we're gonna buy one here. Yeah, it's expired, so it's not valid anymore. Okay. Uh, yes. So can I get another one of these? Um, do you have like a two-day one or? Yeah, we have a one-day, two-day, or three-day one. More days we don't have, so mm -hmm. two days. Um, okay. wait, no, Monday, Tuesday. No, I think I'm gonna need a three because yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's 40 euros and 50 cents. Okay. Please. Thank you very much. Okay, so apparently the kiosk is not like a New York system. I'm used to buying a ticket and then you can put money on it. Mm, no, they didn't give me any options. So I just wind up just going to the kiosk as you, I mean, to the, to the information desk person, as you saw, and it just made more sense to just do that. Uh, so I got a three day ticket because technically we're going to be here today because the one I had expired today Tuesday and then I'm gonna need something to get to the airport on Wednesday so so if I don't if I overuse it oh well or if I underuse it oh well is what it is all right so time to go back to the room to go get dressed and go put some makeup on we're back in these streets all made up so this is the first time that we are taking the train from Harlem it's been under construction basically all weekend so we've had to take the bus for the most part, but finally we are getting on the train.
just like that, we made it off the train. Literally, what, 20 minutes? 20 minutes. I mean, train is just not working <laughs> on the weekends. It's a hassle taking the bus and we made it that quickly. When I planned the trip out, it was for us to take the train every day. I knew it was gonna be easy. Did not anticipate the trains not working on the weekends due to construction, but whatever, we made it work and really easy. So if you come to Amsterdam, don't come on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so we are in the candy store slash ice cream store. I've been wanting ice cream since I had on my trip. You know, I'll go everywhere and have not found it. We found one. Look at all this candy over here. I wonder how much it is per pound. I don't know. But I think I'm going to get a snack. Come on, follow me. <laughs> here is the ice cream, which is in macaroons. Come on, look at not a big selection, but it's somewhat. <laughs> oh, look at all the licorice. I am not a licorice fan, but it's nice to look at. And then we have some Amsterdam type goodies on this side. I guess this is the equivalent to like a warhead, something like that. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Gummies. Oh, look at the size of this Sour Patch. Oh my gosh. And look at all the nerds. This is a big, this, this is the deluxe shelf on this side. <laughs> oh, we have the chocolate. Oh, we just bought this chocolate. So we have this chocolate. It was a grocery store that was uh, near our hotel and we saw this and we bought it there so we don't need it now wow look at this mercy look at the size of this this is a lot of chocolate <laughs> but I hear mercy is actually pretty good it's French mm -hmm. oh and they have games too if you want to on the go if you're on the train you need something to do for the kiddos mm -hmm and gift boxes as well. That's cute. Oh, this is the risque kind of candy. Okay. <laughs> Notice that in the corner. <laughs> Next we have lollipops. Over here. And oh, these are so pretty. Like they're different kind of Dr. Peppers. This one, I mean, zero syrup cream soda. We don't have this in the US, because I would get it. Oh, they have warheads as well. Look at that. This is truly a novelty type store. I love it. Well, one day when you are on Damrock or Damrock Street here in Amsterdam Central, I hope you come here as well. Thank you. I am getting vanilla and strawberry rich gelato. Watch her scoop it. Two scoops, five euros. Look at that, perfect. Hey, Tiffany pointed out something that I didn't even notice. I pointed out that it was a game. <laughs> it's not a game. <laughs> it's actually chocolate. How neat is that? And then there's some sushi over here as well. Look at this. People think of everything. Wow. Thank you, boo. Oh, hot tamales. This is my favorite. Hot tamales is my favorite candy, but I don't like peeps. I don't like marshmallow though. Okay, and by the way, this gelato ice cream is like the bomb. And the lady was so nice. 4.95 euros for this. Twinkie popcorn. Now, I'm not a popcorn girl, but this is interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> okay, now that we are situated and I finished my ice cream, we are now about to get on what we call the, or what they call the flagship boat. It is a canal cruise that has a live tour guide, cheese, drinks, and more. This is going to be interesting. Check out the boat though. This is the 231. We're waiting for the next one, the three o'clock, because we're a little early. I'm just glad there's shade. Hi. Right here in this corner. Thank you, Lord. 
is uh, to put all the paper in the bin and not the toilet. And for the rest, just keep all your hands and everything on the inside of the boat. I've lived here for about 17 years, and I think 16 years ago was the first time I was driving a boat, so I think you'll be fine in terms of safety. If it's possible, and if there's no questions at all, we'll just share the stories as we see fit. company that ever existed on Earth by many people. <laughs> and they say in current day value, they would say that company would have been worth about $7 trillion, which is I think more than the top 20, maybe 30 companies combined. houseboats uh, in, the, in the city center and uh, it's interesting to set the uh, check out the houseboats people actually live okay, in these boats so they cost about 2.4 million yeah, so to live on the water you, so it wasn't actually always allowed but uh, in protest the Amsterdamers they threw their bikes into the canals so that the Nazis couldn't get to them. I think that speaks volumes for the Dutch, right? That's such a peaceful way of protesting. I love it. Just the city hall and the opera, the national opera, together, and we call it the Stopra because they're connected. So the Stadthaus, city hall, um, is also the first place where the first same-sex marriage was um, conducted. Forces that they had to build down their wooden door frames, wooden window frames to keep alive, to keep warm, to burn them is uh, protected by the UNESCO the houses are as well protected so they couldn't change the exterior of the houses so they had to keep them intact but on the inside everything is connected rooms go from 750 euros a night pretty cheap, right? <laughs> and also very lot, a lot of important people are staying here for example, we have Barack Obama here in us It has been a day, it has been a productive day. Okay, so the last time we touched base was at the canal cruise. Wasn't that nice? It was so, so beautiful. Definitely worth every penny. Uh, the cheese was really good and uh, we had I had a little, little rosé that was pretty good as well, but it was just a little bit. And then I had a Fanta. Uh, the company was nice. The people we were sitting beside, they were really nice to talk to. And we had a little bit of history. The tour was really nice. Oh, Tiffany got to drive the boat. She really drove it. That was so, so cute. So now we are sitting, we, we walked a little bit. Oh, the train experience has been great. We actually came back on the train to come back to the, to come back to, cent to Central because we wanted to change our time for tomorrow because we double booked ourselves. Um, we have the Van Gogh at 11 and we had another Lover's Canal Cruise at 11. So we needed to change it. So now we're going to go get up early, get here at 9 in the morning so that we can do the Lover's Canal and then we're going to go to the Van Gogh Museum. So we're looking forward to that, so make sure you stay tuned. We are now sitting at a Portuguese restaurant. Before I get the food, I thought I would show you the place that we are at. It's called Restaurant de Portuguese. So, so nice. Oh, and look at the area we are in. We are in like this like little alley that has a whole bunch of restaurants and bar stuff. Okay, I can't stay out here very long because I'm going to get run over by a bike. But I wanted you guys to see it. Love this area here. This is where we're sitting, right here on the outside. All right, so again, we are in Amsterdam Central. Look at Tiffany's dish. It's very good presentation. All right, here's my dish. Looks pretty good. It did come with fries, but I didn't want the fries. I wanted rice. All right, so as you can see, food was pretty amazing. The rice to me was the best. The steak was the steak was very flavorful. It just was overcooked to my American standard. So we're in a new area. We went past our stop in Harlem to, it starts with a Z. I'll just have to put it on the screen because I don't know how to pronounce it. And, or maybe I'll find a sign to where I can show you. But, uh, <sighs> People just be loved getting in my camera for no reason. Some condos, I guess that is. It just looks like a beach. And by the way, it is 9.52 in the evening. You wouldn't think because there's so much light outside. Wow, Royals, look at this. Not sure if you can see, but back over there, there's a whole bunch of windmills. 
I mean, Royals, look at this behind me. Is this is not gorgeous? I don't know if you uh, you all can see the windmills, but it's ba they're back there. Like it looks, it it's so picturesque back there. All right, I'm gonna turn back the camera back around. Y'all y'all don't want to see me. I want to see this 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 good view right here. Okay, let me let me show you. I am saying good night. I am ending the vlog here. If you saw or watched anything entertaining or of value today, please make sure you hit that like button and please subscribe. Thank you for supporting my channel. Be sure to stay tuned in for the next video because we are going on a bunch of tours and another canal cruise. It will be interesting. Good night. We have two canal tours. Finally, we made it to the Van Gogh Museum. So we are about to do the Heineken tour, yay!